Thank you. And I want to start by thanking all of our witnesses for being here and for your incredible strength and, and composure given the, uh, the terrible context of the discussion that we're having today. Thank you. Um, you may have read a global news report uh, a number of months ago that had an A-tip from Correctional Services Canada's officials discussing the transfer, and, and you're probably aware of this, but uh, when they were discussing the transfer, one of the officials, they were redacted, said, when will the families be notified? Does it need to be a few days in advance? And the second official says, no, they'll only be notified once the transfer is complete, to which the other official responded, oh, good. I was worried that the circus would begin prior to the transfer. And then the other official said, nope, he'll be assigned to someone else by the time it hits the fan. Just trying to pass off responsibility. How does that make you feel? And do you feel that anyone at Correctional Services Canada or in the government has been fully held accountable for this callous disregard for uh, the feelings and the rights of victims? Okay, so um, it's almost, that is almost makes us speechless. Um, I can literally feel um, the energy that just shifted between us sitting here listening to that. Um, it, I think you nailed it on the head when you said the callous disregard. I'm actually shocked. I think we're all just shocked that someone who works in with offenders and understands the magnitude of some of these crimes that these individuals commit would be able to have such a callous and cavalier attitude towards the, the impact of any kind of decision regarding an offender. Um, I think the other part is probably not too shocking um, that, that that it is a conversation that happened um, in regards to how this was handled. Um, because as we had said earlier, I mean, we it came out in the news that the um, Prime Minister's office and uh, the office of my, Minister Mendicino were aware of the transfer beforehand, and they were aware of the um, the subsequent uh, emotion that would come out of it, and they were prepared for it, but they didn't want to deal with it. Uh, they so they so they chose to deny that it happened, uh, that they knew, and. Um, so, I mean, there just has to be some accountability for these people. So I know some changes were made in the government uh, since then, um, but just it just speaks again to the, the, the fact that victims are over and over and over again just disregarded. I mean, this, like... This is a man who the worst of the most terrible things that can be done to human beings and and the individuals who are responsible for his 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 um, incarceration are this is their attitude about it. It's just I mean, it just is it's it's disgusting. I mean, there's nothing else to say. So thank you. And I appreciate your candidness and I'll give an opportunity maybe to the others, but just another quick question to think about. You know, Correctional Services Canada and Kelly, Commissioner Kelly, came and said that the law was followed. But in your opinion, if the law, if the correct application of the law as it exists leads to people like Bernardo being transferred to medium security, is the law truly a good law or is it a flawed law? And I'll just pass that along. Uh, thank you for that question, and I would answer, it is absolutely a flawed law. Uh, this is absolutely not the right decision. It was the absolute wrong decision. Uh, yes, I, I, I agree that, uh, you know, on paper, the job was done. The job was done correct, and all the, the necessary boxes, like I said, were, were checked. Uh, is that right? No. Uh, when you hear of things being said and being communicated and not being communicated and light being made of something this se severe, uh, it leaves you with a sense of, um, is any of it being taken serious at all? Um, 
what are the motivations? My questions, what are the motivations? What was the real motivation for this move? Um, I have many speculations. I, of course, I'm not on the inside. I don't know. Um, but I highly suspect that there are, are other motivations that that uh, encourage this move. Um, clearly, there is no regard um, for the victims in, in, in any of that. Um, and uh, flawed law, understatement. Thank you. <laughs>